Hello, Dr. Jane Spogash, expert in health longevity, as well as the author of a book on migraines and epilepsy. And that, this particular study really drives home one of my frustrations with the treatment of a lot of brain-related disorders, Alzheimer's, uh, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, migraines, epilepsy, in that we're not really trying to fix what's wrong with the brain, we're just trying to medicate. So in in migraines, we just want to control the headache but don't actually fix the problem. In seizures, we just want to numb the cells up so one cell can't talk to another and cause seizures. And yet there's an underlying problem that needs to be fixed. If not, there's going to be downstream consequences. And this particular study out of India really drives this point home. And they looked at 80 people with epilepsy, four that were well controlled, I'm sorry, 40 that were well controlled, and another 40 that had what's called refractory epilepsy. They, their seizures are not controlled with medication. Um, keep in mind that 30 to 40% of epileptics actually have refractory epilepsy. So this isn't an unusual phenomenon. There are a lot of people on medication that continue to have seizures. And again, that's because nobody ever really discusses with them the underlying problems. So when they looked at vascular risk factors, so how healthy were their blood vessels, think cardiovascular disease, prediabetes, the people with refractory, with epilepsy that wasn't controlled, had higher vascular uh, blood vessel risk factors, higher atherosclerosis, and higher levels of stress. That just those are not good for the brain and until we fix those things we can't expect the best outcomes with seizure control so what are some things we can do i mean certainly i cover a long range of them in my book but a ketogenic diet is a pretty powerful tool a vitamin d magnesium especially magnesium three and eight uh, essential fatty acids fish oils are healthy um are are uh, healthy for the brain uh, melatonin is on the list managing fixing obstructive sleep apnea there's a lot of things that we can do so if you've got epilepsy and whether they're controlled or not look for these other risk factors that you have like what are you doing that's not good for your brain and you need to change that even if your seizures are well controlled you still need to be treating your brain right otherwise there's going to be downstream consequences because they the epileptic, the anti-epileptic drugs don't fix these underlying problems. So, um, as always, I'll post a link to this particular study in the description, as well as a link to my epilepsy book on Amazon, which I go into a lot more of those factors in there. Um, make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel.